And you said earlier that legends get chucked around very easily, mm. and there's very few of them. They're just mm. good people, good at your job. Yeah. But he's a legend, and, yeah. that, and that's all you can say. I don't know what I didn't know the man personally, yeah. but you know what he did for British boxing mm. and what he did for, for especially for Sheffield boxing is something that can probably never be repeated, Steve. And of course, to be to be incredibly high profile as a boxing coach, you do need those big names. You do need the Johnny Nelson run. You need Nassim Hamid, Harold Bomagram, Junior Witter, Kel Brook. You need those guys. Of course. But you also need the thousands of others that we don't know about, that we've forgotten about. Guys that only had half a dozen fights, 10 fights, 20 fights, and vanished. And that, that, those are the ones that really matter. Uh, I remember there's a guy called Amir Khan, Amir Khan, not yeah, yeah. Amir, Amir Khan. Now, Amir Khan tried to sell his name to Amir Khan when Amir Khan turned <laughs> pro. Amir Khan was a decent enough pro. He was unbeaten as a pro. Um, but he, he, he wasn't going to make it, and he didn't make it. He became a fireman. Brendan helped him. You know, he moved into the fire service. And he's a real high-ranking fireman uh, in Sheffield. He's about 30. <coughs> he's about 36 now. And, yet, and I think about that, and I think... That's what it's all about, Mel. It's, it's a, Steve, that's what it's about. It's about changing lives. And people don't... That's why I say also trainers don't get enough paid enough because you have a bond with the trainers. It's a lot of father and some relationships. And I think... And, it, and it's easy to get emotional. Yeah. Of course, when you know somebody. Yeah, is, but, yeah. but, like, tra some trainers, you, you, you never forget. Hmm. And what it looks like to me is that everyone involved with Brendan, including people like yeah, yourself, yeah, gotcha. never forget him. No, no, you know, no. What, sort of, what, what a legacy is that? Mm. Like, that a man can touch you, whether it's can touch you emotionally, whether it's just with with, with just being in his company for a few hours, mm. or whether he's brought you up from a young kid and changed your life. Whether you be a fireman, a trainer like Glenn Rhodes, mm. or a malt, or one of the best boxers on the planet like Nazim Hamid, whatever it is. He did that with, a, with again with the belief that he had a system, mm. not just to make you a good boxer, mm. but to give you a, 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 a respect and a standing to move forward in life. That's forty Perfect. seconds there that someone should use when Brendan is buried. The service should be at uh, Sheffield Cathedral. Barry, thanks for sitting with me through that. We have got Haroon Headley coming up, and and uh, and Mr. Hansa will be here. It's been all about Brendan for this last uh, 20 odd minutes or so. It's been moving, it's been brilliant, it's been fantastic. He was. You know what, Brendan? Thanks very much, son. It's been a pleasure knowing you.